Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Arts. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this canvas using this paste. It comes in white color, it holds the shape, you can use palette knife with that. You can see that it's thick and smooth, flexible. You can use a cork gun to make some waves, you can make some bubbles popping from there. And you can mix it with any other colors to make for example beige or gray. Also you can mix it with a different color, for example to make some leaves like this. Or some flower petals. You can paint on top of it when it completely dries. Like this. This is not a plaster of Paris, of course, because plaster of Paris it cracks when it dries. As you can see, the cracks. But our paste, when it dries, it's very flexible and durable. It's waterproof and never cracks. If you are interested to discover this paste, click down link in description. Also, discover my online lessons and learn how to become a professional artist. So we put our masking tape on the canvas. Later, we put our paste. So we take with a spoon. And we put like five or six uh, scoops to make sure we spread equally on the canvas without leaving any empty spots. Here in this process you don't need to press too much on the palette knife. You just follow the paste and make it very even on the surface of the canvas. Now we take our palette knife and we go to the corner and we start to make shapes up going to down. Make sure you don't press on the same leaf, make a little bit space between each others and we go to the opposite side and we do this. So these leaves will be like not 100% random, like make three or four together, later change the direction of your wrist and do again. So we, it's up to us how to follow the leaf's directions. When your palette knife becomes a little bit dirty, make sure to clean it with your palm, your hands or any other type like wipes or papers we keep using the same technique so we make three or four leaves together later we uh, change the direction of the canvas and we fill the empty places keep cleaning your palette knife until you finish the canvas so in art using a palette knife to create thick paste gives a cool shadow effect it's all about practicing of course a lot keep trying keep learning and don't give up even if it gets tough, with time and effort, you will get better and better. Embrace failure, practice regularly and seek inspiration. Experiment freely, be patient and share your work while prioritizing self-care. Let your love for art guide you on journey of growth and self-expression. And now we are close to finish our canvas. We fill out all the empty spaces. So, we finish our canvas, we take the tape and we pull it very carefully you need to be slow in this process or you're gonna ruin the edges of the canvas so take the tapes easily or the sides like I said you need to be slow this is the last one and there we go our canvas is clean the edges are fine everything went very good so there you can see the edges are very clean and we leave it for one day to dry. And now we prepare our frame. We cut them 45 degrees each. We adjust our measurements and it's ready. This is how the frame looks like when it's ready. We put our canvas inside, we just pop it inside like this. This is only a tutorial to show you how to put it. But when you make it, you need to use some wood glue to make sure that the canvas is fixed inside the frame. And this is the last result for our canvas picture was being shot in the daylight. Daylight make a big difference when it comes to quality. Uh, this is the end so I hope that you liked the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your likes or your feedback in the comment section. If you would like to, to know from where I get this paste or what kind of paste I'm using, click down the link in the description. Also you'll get an access to 8 full video to show you how to be a professional artist for photography, how to make your website, uh, how to have your designs inspiration, how to use uh, Adobe Photoshop, even how to make your own canvas.